A transgender activist won the Democratic nomination for state Senate seat in Delaware yesterday. As Alicia Reed reports, her win puts her on track to be the nation's highest ranking openly transgender elected official. After speaking at the 2016 Democratic National Convention, Sarah McBride got the bug to run for office. What was so clear was we needed good people with the right ideas. McBride won last night's primary for Delaware's first state Senate district. Come November, the activist could make history as the nation's highest ranking transgender official. It also speaks to um, the broader development of LGBTQ rights in America, where a person can be evaluated beyond their identity and really be evaluated for the policies that they're advocating for. This isn't her first time in the spotlight. In addition to the 2016 DNC, she was the first transgender person to intern at the White House during President Barack Obama's 2012 administration. It's been a long, hard road, and I think she's uh, a outstanding representative to Push things ahead. McBride's grassroots campaign focused on speaking directly to thousands of neighbors and hearing their concerns, and it appears they listened. Early results show her earning 93% of absentee and mail in ballots. Weeks are counting down. What's next? Are you getting ramping up the efforts? I'm uh, energized. I'm excited. I'm ready to work my heart out uh, through November 3rd to make sure that. We win and that we elect Democrats up and down the ballot. For her state Senate seat, McBride's platform has been motivated by issues close to her heart. Affordable health care for every Delawarean, good paying jobs with real benefits like paid family and medical leave, uh, strengthening our public schools and reforming our criminal justice system. Those are issues that are personal to me. McBride is facing off against Republican Stephen Washington, a Wilmington native, in November's general election. Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News.